Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and I just got these two boxes in the mail. And when I saw them out there, I thought, what in the world are those boxes? But before I tell you <laughs> what's in those boxes, I thought I would tell you that I've started another channel. Um, for a little while, I've been talking about this with y'all about my teaching videos and up till now I have been uploading them on this channel. Um, but I've decided to separate the two. So in the description, I'll put a link to my new channel and I would really love it if you subscribe. If you're interested in content relating to teaching, teaching tips, teaching ideas, things that I buy for my classroom, um, classroom planners, things that I think are a must have for a second grade teacher, um, hop on over to Summer's Tips and Teaching. See how easy it is gonna be for you to be able to switch between those two video channels and subscribe. Yeah, so I just kind of thought that, I mean, many of you have given me the great idea or just saying this is my channel, I can put whatever I want on it. But those videos have a very low watch rate on here. And I just thought, you know what, let's give it a shot. Let's try the two. So Maddie, my media expert, she set me up with the two channels. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to feature the each of the other channel on itself, you know, feature Summer's Tips and Stitches on Summer's Tips and Teaching and vice versa. I haven't figured that part out yet. Um, but right now I only have two subscribers, Brandon and Maddie. Um, so I would, be, it would be really great if you were interested in teaching videos, if you liked those videos that I put up and products that I reviewed that are related to the classroom, hop on over there and subscribe. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay. So I do have two videos up there already. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby and yet yeah, Hobby Lobby sells teacher stuff too. What? I know. And I, I reviewed my planner. Last year, I got a planner from the Teaching Texan. I opened it and reviewed it there. And then this year, I, I did it again. So, new year, new planner. But that is my, my little business at the front of this video. Um, and obviously, I mean, I don't want to ask you to subscribe if you don't ever intend to watch. But if you do... Um, that would be great. And if you don't, it would be great as well. Just quick subscribe and then you don't have to watch any of the teaching videos. This video channel will be solely crochet, knit, and yarn. Maybe a random craft project here and there. Okay, for to no further ado, what is in these boxes? Do you guys know? Does anybody know? Um, the reason I ask is because when I opened it, I was like, what? Crochet Society? Yeah, I was shocked by that because typically my crochet society comes in this like white paperish kind of envelope that has like bubble wrap in it, you know what I mean? And I've never had it in one of these boxes. And then I was reading the postage here to see if there was anything that clued me into it being crochet society and I couldn't find any. Okay, so let's take a look and see what this is. This may actually be my last um, crochet society because uh, what happened was I needed to renew my credit card last August. And when I went to go do it, I couldn't remember my password and I couldn't get in. And I was freaking out because I didn't want to lose a crochet society. And I ended up calling them and they just set me up a new account. And I paid for a year at that time. And so this would be my last year. This is box number 43. Um, let's see what is in this beautiful box. It says, good things take time. Um, if, if you remember, if you're a crochet person, crochet society person, um, they're no longer, their spokesperson is no longer Bella Coco. They have moved on to a new gal. So let's see. <gasps> Ooh. Look at that, you guys. Okay, if you are one of my yarn friends, you know I'm freaking out because I love purple. And then here's this white yarn right next to it. Two beautiful cakes. 
Um, this is a crochet row counter bracelet in this little box or this little packing cardboard. My um, stepmom has one of these. Oop, I dropped it. So um, I don't know exactly. Oh, here you wear it as a bracelet. So you put it on and then you move this charm to say I'm on row six, although it didn't come off. It didn't stay on there. So, oh my gosh, you guys, I can't get it to clasp on at all because I can't really see very well. There it is. So they gave me one of these. Um, my newest way, well, my go-to way of counting rows is this. I write up how many rows that I have to do and then I cross them off. Um, the new way that I thought about doing was that pop it idea. I can link in the, I can put a link in the description to that video in case you missed it. Okay, they gave you, they give you a bunch of stuffing, which I just put in a giant bag over there. I just transfer this, but they like you know they always give you the stuffing you need. So it looks like we'll be having an amigurumi. Okay, let's go for the yarn, then we'll figure out what's at the bottom. Fresh cotton cake crochet society. 100% cotton sport weight. And I don't think it says a color on here. It doesn't. You know, that's how they do it in Europe. And then this one is, again, 100% cotton sport weight. Oh, color Jaguar. J Jag Jack Jaquad. Jaquard. And Rosina. Here is the color. Now, this has a 450 meters. And this one is 450 meters. Kind of strange though, because they don't look like they're the same size, but they claim they are. They're claiming to be the same. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you like this, and if you can read it, there it is, there's the word that I didn't know. Well, can you see it? I don't know. And there it is, 450 meters. And then there's the other one. Debatable. I mean, maybe this one's tighter. I don't know. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Beautiful pink crochet hook. On it, it says a 3.25 millimeter. It looks like it has some flowers on it. And a butterfly stitch marker. For all of you know that butterflies are one of my favorite animals. I love them. And in my second grade class, we, uh, we grow butterflies. <laughs> From the caterpillar and I believe this may be some eyeballs no no it's not it is a little tag that you can put in your crochet that says one of a kind just like the wearer so a little label if you make a sweater for someone you can stitch that in there's a whole bunch of those and another pair of nippers I have a lot of these, I'm not gonna lie. I, the last time they sent us out these, they were blue, and I have a few blue pairs of nippers. Okay, <clears throat> now that I've looked at all the things, let's quick look at the book. Let's see what's in there. I put all these things back in my box, a little disheveled. Okay, let's see. Crochet Society, July 2023, Rosalina Plain. Okay, it is their new style of book. Welcome to your box. That's what it says right here. Um, they've interviewed Rosalina, Rosina. I'm sorry, Rosalina, Rosina. I said your name wrong. Um, and this is, so they do an interview with her and um, I'm guessing this is maybe some of her work. And you, she is online. You can go to her Instagram, and she's got YouTube, Rosina Crochets, R-O-S-I-N-A, Crochet, C-R-O-C-H-E-T-S, all one word. She's also got a Facebook group. Um, okay, look at what we've got here. Looks like we have two, three projects. The first one is a scarf, um, who, Periwinkle Spike. And it looks like it's kind of a mosaic scarf with the white. And of course there's a chart to go with it. Then it, here is everything in the box they describe. Never lose track again counting rows with this delicate bracelet. Simply move the star clasp to the number you need. 
well, it wasn't simple for me, but that's because I was trying to do it while watching in the camera. Um, yeah, so there's that. Everything that I showed you is in the box. Two skeins of yarn, a pair of snippers, stitch marker, hook, tags, and the bracelet. And now Heart Over Heart Baby Blanket also looks to be kind of a mosaic look. I'm going to tell you what, people. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest with you. If I'm going to make this or this, I'm going to have to follow the tutorials. There's no way, especially since they're in UK terms. I'm going to have to. I know I can do it because it looks very similar to the blanket that they had us make last year and this year for Crochet Society where you're holding the yarn through, but <laughs> I'm going to need to follow their videos. Um, and their last project is a hook roll, pressed flowers hook roll. Okay, now I can see it. When I was looking at it in the book, I was like, what in the world is that? But now that I'm looking at it through the camera, I can see that that is a flower. Um, yeah, and <sighs> all these patterns look hard. I am not going to lie. These look hard. This must be a mosaic theme. Uh, the hook roll looks cute. I think you could make a simpler one. I actually saw a real cute one that she made. She s made strips in the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, folded up the bottom, seamed it, and then each spot that had a hook would go on was a different color. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Let's go back to whatever here. Now, one thing that Crochet Society does that I really love is they always refer to other yarns that are similar to this yarn. King Cole has some yarn that's similar. Sheepy's Whirl has some. Sheepy's Whirlette. And I am not going to be Rico Recorium. Rico, Rico Recorumi. I don't know. I'm just going to show you guys. I can read in real life, but when I get on camera, I can't. And then especially when they're words that have way too many consonants in them and not enough vowels, I start to kind of freak out. Okay, um, now there is another pattern. And it's another blanket pattern. It is again in this like kind of mosaic-y kind of stitch. Can you see that? Where you're carrying yarn through. Um, does it say it? And it lists a bunch of different kinds of yarn. Named after the French commune Claude, Claude Monet lived in, you can, Claude Monet, you can see the watercolor artistry in this inspirational, beautiful, soft yarn choice. So they give you another pattern, but the pattern does not go with the yarn that's provided. And here are some featured photos from past crochet societies. If you use hashtag crochet society on Instagram, they will then select your photos. Um, I made it on here one time and I was thrilled. Okay, so that is it. Curated by Kate Rowell. Rowell? Roll. That's the new gal that's working for them. Um, and then, of course, the back is their stitch conversion and hook conversions. You guys, I love the yarn. Absolutely love the yarn. The patterns look very difficult. And so, like I said, thank God they provide video tutorials because there's no way that I could do them. I think I am going to try the baby blanket. That might be my next project because I'm kind of in this thing where like, what am I going to do? I don't know. Okay, now, that is my Crochet Society box. That was one of the boxes. And if you saw from the picture, I was holding two boxes. And I thought to myself, what is in the other box? Here it is, same box, same postage. And it looks to be the exact same box, box 43. So I was like, what? Did they send me two boxes? I also had my husband go look to make sure I wasn't billed for two boxes, and I was not. I paid for the year ahead, like I said in the video, so I'm not sure why I got two. Let's see if they're all the same yarn. It used to be when I was on Knit Crate. I don't know if you remember Knit Crate. They went out after COVID. 
you would have different colorways. The same pattern, but no, it's exactly the same. So I'm gonna have to dig through my emails and see why do I possibly have two of the same, and I'm not kidding you guys, I came up to my house when I came back actually from picking up my son from football practice, and I had two of these boxes just stacked on top of each other. They're both addressed to me. Thank you, maybe, I, I mean, I'm gonna tell you what though, the last one they sent me, I didn't get the bag. And I never complained, many of you said I should. But I went online and I could, had a hard time finding a place where I could complain about not getting the bag. So you guys, I'm at a crossroads right now. I have to decide, am I gonna renew? Because I'm pretty sure this is the last box because I paid for the year. Am I going to renew my Crochet Society subscription or am I gonna try something new? Now I did do some research on a new subscription box because the thing I like about Crochet Society, as many of you know, is that it is crochet based. It's not like Knit Crate or even Yarn Yay where the real pattern is knitting and then they create a similar pattern for crochet. This is a real crochet box and everything about it. So I thought about doing crochet surprise. Now, if any of you remember, know our dear friend Seta um, from Seta's Place, she is one of their tutorial people. I don't know if she still is, I know she was. And um, they are a highly rated crochet subscription box online when I was researching them. Now they don't have their own line of yarn like Yarnier or Knit Crate or, or Crochet Society, but they use yarn that you can, I think, normal everyday yarn, fun, pretty yarns too. So I thought about doing that. They do give you tea as well and a couple little notions, little treats like snippers and that. Um, yeah, and then the other thing I thought about doing instead of if I don't renew Crochet Society, and then if I don't do Crochet Surprise, I was thinking, what if I went, and I've heard about some of these indie dye companies that like sell on Etsy's that dye their own yarn, that they sometimes put together subscriptions where they just send you a hand dyed skein of yarn without the patterns. Maybe with the patterns too, I don't know. So we'll see. I will say that I was less thrilled when Crochet Society went to buy it monthly and you know how they said that they were gonna have bigger, better treats inside each box? I think the only one, there's only a couple where they actually had better. The When they had the planner, here it is, which to be honest, I don't use. Even though I love it, they gave us a planner. Um, and then one year, they, or one month, they gave us, oops, I'm dropping stuff all over the floor now. They gave us this little thing that helps you hold your patterns, which I really do love. And then, and this I use all the time, as you can see, it is exploding. One time she gave us this thing and I put all kinds of notes in here. I start, if I'm making notes to design a pattern, I put them in there, like my gnome, costs of things to figure out how much yarn it would cost to do something and how much is online. Like I use this big plans thing from when Bella Coco was on there. See, both, all of these are Bella Coco things. I loved that. Um, so, but I will say I have not, I haven't felt like they've had a big thing in there for a while. I mean, this one for sure they don't. They just have that little charm bracelet and um, the, the, the nippers. Now they do have a fourth pattern in there and the yarn is super nice. I will say that. I'm loving the yarn. And I am thrilled at this point that I have two. You guys, I just don't know. I just don't know what I'm going to do. And I don't make decisions very well. I've got to talk it out with a bunch of people for a while before I make a real big decision. Sheesh. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. Don't forget to check out Summer's Tips and Teaching. Subscribe. <laughs> and... <clears throat> Until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.